guys, it's Lotus Wonderland, and this is Night Weary Part 2. If you didn't see Part 1, go ahead and watch it, unless you saw it, like, on another video, or read it on your own. And why there's, like, all the text is because, um, I was reading it by my own, and I forgot to record, so let's just see. Okay. Mary, I need you to come to Mount Peace Cemetery. David, are you kidding me? It's almost 3 a.m. Why would I go to a cemetery that late at night? Please do it for me. <sighs> Honestly, I don't want to do anything for you right now. I love you, but you left my apartment without even telling me. Hey, I wrote you a note. Yeah, and you put it in the kitchen. Do you know how scared I was during those 10 minutes it took me to find it? Shit, I didn't even think about that. Sorry, it's okay. It's just, this isn't like you. What's really going on? You said you were picking up Samson, but, but babe, you're in a cemetery. I am. Samson woke up on a grave, Mary. What? I know it was horrible. He said his clothes were all torn, and there was blood on his hands. OMG, I know, right? He's pretty scared. No, David, I'm not worried about Samson right now. I'm worried about you. You're the one who's tracking down your wild roommate, and you followed him into a damn graveyard. Mary, you know he isn't actually wild. He's just going through a hard time. David, has Samson even bothered to shave this month? No, I don't think he showered in a week. Mm, that's so gross. There's something wrong with him. David, mark my words. Look, I already said it. He's going through a hard time. He might look a little wild with the hair and everything right now, but he's always a good he, he was always a good friend to me. Yeah, maybe before this year. He gets really angry, David. I've seen him literally scream at you. And when he gets like that, it's like, almost like he could hurt you. You. What? Admit it. Have you ever thought that Samson might hurt you? Sweet, sweetheart, let's not get into this conversation right now. I just want to go home. Can you please get in a cab? I am in a cab. I'm coming to help you because I think you might be in danger. And I want you to be aware of your surroundings. And you know that you're in danger too. Mary, stop. I am freaking out, okay? Is that what you want to hear? I'm in, a, in this terrible graveyard. Terrible, creepy graveyard. At three in the morning. And? And I'm terrified of my roommate. He's completely changed after his brother died. What? I saw you typing. What were you going to say? What? I saw you typing that you were going to say. OMG, David, are you okay? Yeah, I'm right here. It's just, this might sound really stupid. It's okay, David. It's me. You don't have to worry about feeling stupid in front of me. Okay. It's just whenever Samson gets angry, he, he gets this look in his eyes. It's like something takes over inside his body. And tonight... He completely blacked out. He doesn't remember anything he did. He woke up with blood on his hands and the, all these scratches. With the beard and that hair and the look in his eyes. David, you, David, just say it. What are you trying to tell me? I don't know how to explain it. Look, there's a full moon tonight, Mary. Samson doesn't always get angry, and he doesn't always black out, but he did tonight.
Maybe I'd have something to do. Uh, fine. What if Samson is a werewolf? They would be serious. There's, no, there's no such thing as werewolves. Oh, this is getting really interesting, you guys. This is an, an episode of Teen Wolf. Sweetheart, I am serious. There's something wrong with Samson. And he gets angry. It's like he transforms. Well, he does have all the hair on his body. I mean, let's say he is a werewolf. What would we we do any differently? Well, we definitely can't just leave him here. When he isn't a werewolf, he's my best friend. Two minutes later. Holy shit, I just heard a howling noise. Yeah, I heard it too. Maybe you were right. Wait, you're here already? Yeah, we just pulled up to the f cemetery gate. David, I'm scared. That noise, noise definitely didn't sound human. I know. Are you still in the cab? Yeah. Good. Don't get out. I feel so exposed out here. Like he could come behind me. Up behind me. At any moment. OMG, David, don't say that. You're freaking me out. It's okay. I just found this big gravestone. I crouched below it and put my back to it. I'll keep an eye on what's in front of me. Okay, thank God. And besides that, no, it didn't seem to be coming from close by. Really? Because it sounds like it was right next to me. What? I don't like that. Oh, you guys, look. Oh, okay. Well. Look, Mary, just go home. Forget about me. I'll call an Uber or something. No, David, I'm not leaving you out here in a graveyard with your werewolf roommate. But you could get hurt. And if you did, I'd have never forgive myself for dragging you out here. Please, Mary, please go home. Too late for that. What, why? He's here. Oh my gosh! You guys, if you liked that video, um, like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. Okay? So, this is... Wait, oh, wait, there's another, there's another little comment. There's a werewolf standing outside my cab window. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys, comment down below, like this video, and subscribe right now. Okay, can we get one like? Just one like. Cause okay, well. Let's wait for Night Weary Part 3.